O Domine Somnium Habui, Eri Heri Ne Veniat Verum, In Cielo De Prehensus Sum Cum Homibus, Cus Ego No. Come in. Hello, William. Hello, Francis. Ah, oh, you must be feeling a, a little lonely now that the um, the archdeacon has left so suddenly. Um, have you heard of him at all? No. He could be anywhere. Ah, hmm. uh, I I tell you, William, I I'm becoming too old to deal with the. Various parts of the day-to-day -day running of this place. Nonsense! Nonsense! You're, you're just the same age as me, uh, and I am still fit and relatively healthy, and I'm also sound in mind. Uh, yes, well, um, anyway, I, I've decided to bring in some, um, some help, uh, and he arrives this morning. His name is Murdoch McMurdoch. Oh! A Scotsman. Uh, he is. Um, he was recommended by the, the Bishop of Courtenay. Oh, Matthew. Matthew. I haven't seen him for ages. How is the old thing? Uh, he, he's fine. Um, still has the gammy leg and the uh, passion for women's netball. <laughs> uh, um, just going back to Murdoch. Well, I hope I've made the right choice. He's supposed to be a fine and hard worker but apparently was kicked out of his local kirk for being too religious. Oh, uh, oh, I um, see. Um, hmm. uh, he's taking walks with the cloisters. Um, if you'd care to meet him. Uh, I'll pop down. Um, um, anyway, uh, as you know, as you know, uh, my wine merchant um, isn't playing ball at the moment. Um, something about there not being enough um, money in my um, um, account to pay his bill, um, as such thing. Um, I, I, I don't suppose I could um, impose on your um, good self. Oh, Bishop William, you've already worked your way through half, half my wine cellar as it is. Oh, um, hmm. Very well, but, but try to make it last a few days. Thank you, Francis, thank you. You will be rewarded in heaven. Uh, I wish somebody would reward me here on earth. Mm. Who's that? Where? Outside, wandering about. Don't know. <laughs> he looks like a pirate. <laughs> Oh yeah. I wonder if he has a parrot. Pieces and eight. Pieces and eight. I wonder why they say that. Why don't you ask him? Maybe he has a wooden leg as well. <laughs> I Pugwash, show us your wooden leg. Ooh ah, me timbers. <laughs> I wonder if he dances the hornpipe. Hello, boys. Let me introduce myself. I am Murdoch McMurdoch, the abbot's new assistant. <coughs> so, which one of you is Spencer, and which one of you is Percival? Well, has a cat got your tongue? Uh, 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 I'm Percival, and he's Spencer. Right, I've I've heard all about you two, and I'll be watching out for you. Now, what are you supposed to be doing? Um, 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 yeah, we, we, we were just, um, uh, um, 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 we were just finishing some studying and, and, and then we were going to the refectory. Well, 
There's another half an hour before lunch is served. I suggest you do a bit more. What are the Ten Commandments? Um, thou shalt not kill. Um, thou shalt not um, um, covet thy neighbour's wife or ox. Mm, and thou shalt not commit adultery. And thou shalt um, not um, not um, um, steal. Yeah, steal, steal. Yeah. Yes, and and thou shalt not. Um, thou shalt not sell out of date goods on the on the the market. Out of date goods on the market. Mm. Uh, um, uh. Right. I'll start you two simpletons on something easy. Learn them. If you cannot recite them when we go into lunch, then you'll have no anything to eat. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, don't just stand there like a couple of dead fish. Move! <laughs> now, to find that weird bishop. Drink, drink. It's a curse, the curse of the modern world. Sobriety is the way to the kingdom of, of the kingdom of the ah the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Wait, uh, the abstinence from all forms of of sin is the only way to reach the glory of the Lord. <sighs> oh dear, oh. Uh, the new man appears to be um. A teetotaler, mm, yes. And one with strong views as well. Mm. But I'm sure the good Lord doesn't mind someone having the odd tipple. Mm, yes. Ah. Even a pre luncheon snorter. Hmm. Hmm. Besides, didn't our Lord, indulge in the um, occasional glass. Hmm. Well, we've got to get this right, otherwise Pugwash won't let us have any lunch. And it is meat pie today. Hmm. Mm. I know. Test me again. Right. What is the second commandment? You shall not be idle. Um, yeah, yeah, that's close enough, yeah. Um, what about the fourth one? Is that the one about Black Sabbath? No! Duh. It's remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. <sighs> now, you test me. OK. Which is the fifth one? Honour your mother and father. Yes, that's right. That, now, what about number nine? Um, thou shalt not... Um, thou shalt not... Um, witness thy neighbours when they are bare. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you said bare. say that the ninth commandment was you're not allowed to show your bare bottom to the people next door. <laughs> Today's parable is about uh, Joseph and his um, dream coat of many colours. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. Now, uh, this Joseph wasn't the, the father of Jesus, but uh, uh, another man with that name. In, in fact, he was called Joseph long before the other one was really thought of. Uh, anyway, uh, this Joseph, uh, that's the original, uh, uh, had a coat of many colours. Now, uh, the um, Bible doesn't state uh, where he bought it from, but it uh, sounds like something you'd find in uh, Matalan or Primark. Uh, he, he was very proud uh, of this coat and he uh, wore it everywhere, which must have seemed strange as he lived in a biblical country and there all always very hot. Anyway, he had lots of brothers and uh, they were jealous uh, so they sold him to a slave owner who put him to work in, in the West Indies picking cotton. Uh, that is also a, a very hot country but he still wore the coat. Um, uh, in the end he became so famous they wrote a musical about him and he starred in it. I, I, I don't know if his bras were... Uh, Sorry, I, don't, I mean, his bros were in it. You know, brothers, you know, get down, man. Um, and, 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 and talking of bras, I, I, I've told Laura that she shouldn't hang hers on the, on, on the washing line because the, the, the monks could see them. And the same goes for her knickers as well. Uh, they shouldn't be on the line. Uh, I don't put my underpants on the washing line, especially the ones with Superman uh, written on the front of them in a magic marker pen. Anyway, uh, uh, talking of the stage, I, I, I could have been famous if I'd wanted to. I, I wanted to be a comedian because I, I, I'm good at telling jokes. Uh, the other day, I heard Brother Spencer telling Brother Percival a good joke about the abbot, but I've, I've forgotten it, how it went. Anyway, uh, last night, uh, I told Laura, uh, uh, that's my girlfriend, a, a good joke. Now... A man comes home from work one night and he uh, asks his wife, uh, I don't know her name, uh, and he asked, actually, I, I don't know his name either. But anyway, he comes home and he asks his wife, what's for tea, you see? Uh, and she said, it's your favourite, uh, lamb chops, you see? And, and he said, where are the children? You see, uh, no, no, he didn't. He asked where the vegetables were. No, 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 that's not right. He, he, he asked what the vegetables were, you see, and she said they were having cabbage. No, the, the children were upstairs and they were cabbages. Yeah, I think. Anyway, I told Laura uh, this joke and, and she didn't laugh. She said it was cruel and it was just totally disrespectful. And I told her that she didn't have a sense of humour. And she said that she did. And I was uh, useless. And I said, well, if I'm useless, then why are you going out with me? And she said that was because she felt sorry for me being all alone. And I said, I wasn't alone. I have a friend and his name is Gerald and, and he's not imaginary he's a real person and he lives in Birmingham and, and, and he laughs at my jokes all of the time and, and, and then Laura asked which part of Birmingham does he live in and I said it was near a river a big river and, and, and she said I was making it all up and I said no I wasn't and, and, and she called me a sad lonely boy and went home and I started to cry because I am not a lonely boy because I do have a friend and uh, I've forgotten his name and, and but he does exist and he, and and oh, and um, uh, that, that that's the end of the um, uh, <coughs> parable for today. Once new